Welcome to Chris's Fishes and Frogs. In this video, I'll discuss the most hotly contested topic among keepers of African dwarf frogs. Foods. African dwarf frogs are technically bottom-feeding scavengers, meaning they are omnivores. But in my experience, they much prefer eating meat to eating plants. Mice's shrimp, brine shrimp, blood worms, tubifex worms, beef heart, daphnia, these tend to be frog favorites. Dwarf frogs swallow their food whole, and younger frogs may not be able to consume whole shrimp or worms. For them, I recommend beef heart, which can be more easily ripped apart with their claws, and which will bulk up your frogs more quickly so that they can handle larger meals. Some hobbyists insist that certain foods, in particular fatty beef heart and blood worms, are causes of bloat. To my knowledge, there is no scientific evidence of such a link, and I myself have never had any frog develop bloat despite eating beef heart and blood worms. In any case, it's probably a good idea to vary your frog's diet, as you might with any other pet. When a frog gets full, its tummy will bulge slightly on its left side. This is perfectly normal and not an indication of bloat. Frogs should be fed until full daily or every other day. Some hobbyists offer their frogs pellets. These can offer good nutrition, but you might find your frogs reluctant to eat them. Besides the less appealing taste, another challenge with pellets is that they tend to disperse in the water, making them difficult for frogs to grab a hold of. Dwarf frogs are not only weak swimmers, they also have poor eyesight. This makes them slow eaters. If you are dropping food into the tank, you want to make sure the food doesn't break apart before the frogs can get to it. Frozen shrimp and worms are good options in this regard. Many hobbyists with sand or gravel use a feeding dish to avoid food getting lost in the substrate. A bare bottom tank works even better. You can also feed your frogs individually. I recommend holding food with tongs just above the frog's head. The frog will usually raise its head and lunge at the food. If the frog tries to eat the tongs, don't let it. Sometimes you'll see frogs lunge at plants or even at each other. This is a normal behavior resulting from their poor eyesight. Freeze-dried shrimp and worms can also be useful foods whether held under the water right above an individual frog using tongs, or broken apart prior to being dropped in the water. Freeze-dried food dropped in the tank will float and scatter on the surface, but I find my frogs love to go hunting for meaty snacks even at the waterline. When I come back the next day, all the freeze-dried critters are gone. Another good food option is live worms. You can drop some in the tank and let the frogs find them, or you can feed the frogs individually with a pipette. When using a pipette, you have to try to time your release to coincide with the frog's lunge. This is tricky to accomplish and will inevitably lead to worms dropped on the tank floor. If you're interested in trying live worms for your frogs, Check your local pet store for things like blackworms. Most large stores like Petco and PetSmart, at least where I live, don't usually sell live worms that are thin and small enough for dwarf frogs. In another video, I'll talk about cultivating live blackworms at home. If you have other advice on feeding African dwarf frogs you'd like to share, or any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to the channel.
This is Chris's Fishes and Frogs. Thank you for watching. Thank you.